how's it going? Andy here, back with another pickup video. I got some awesome stuff to show you guys, so let's just jump into it. So first things first, we're gonna start off with some thrift store stuff. I don't have a lot. The rest of the stuff is mainly just eBay and stuff I got from my friends. So uh, yeah, uh, we got some DVDs here. We have Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Forever, which is pretty awesome. We have Sonic Christmas Blast, which is awesome as well. We have the Super Mario Bros. Show, or the Super Mario Bros. Super Show Showdown in Brooklyn, which is awesome. Uh, we have a couple VHSs. We have Angels in the End Zone, which has the kid from Seventh Heaven and Matthew Lawrence, as well as Christopher Lloyd, because he is awesome. Uh, we have. I liked his Milo's Return. Not gonna lie, I thought this was the first Atlantis, but I picked it up. But it's not the second one, so is it the second one? It is. So pretty awesome to have that. Uh oh, we got one more DVD. We have uh SpongeBob SquarePants and Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. So this is actually awesome. It has some really great episodes. It has Rip Pants, Texas, the Graveyard Shift, which is Legit. Uh, something smells. Jellyfishing. Dying for pie. Wormy. Fun. I didn't realize that was on here. And Club Sponge. Oh, and uh, did I say this? Texas. An SB one twenty nine. So pretty, pretty awesome to have that. So I did get some video games. Not like the most amazing games ever, but got some pretty decent ones. We got Halo two. Uh, I already have this. I don't know why I picked it up, but I did, so. Uh, but a game I don't have is Uncharted 2, and this is the Game of, Year, game of the Year edition, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we have Tomb Raider for PS3. I wasn't sure if I had this game or not. Uh, it turns out I have it for Xbox 360, not for PS3, so that's pretty cool. Then we have Soul Calibur 2 for Xbox. Uh, this has Spawn. Uh, I love Soul Calibur, but this one is the one with Spawn, which is awesome. Uh, I'll probably end up getting the GameCube one as well, because that one, I believe, has Link. So, pretty excited. Then, probably the thing I'm most excited about, probably my favorite thrift store pickup in a while, or at least the one I'm most excited about, is Yo! MTV Raps CD. So, Yo! MTV was a... Well, Yo! MTV Raps was a show back in the day that was all about like hip hop and stuff. So, pretty awesome. This is just a CD with a bunch of like classic hip hop songs, such as South Bronx, Push It, It Takes Two, uh, we got Top Billin, Express, uh, yeah, Express Yourself, Me, Myself, and I. Uh, just a bunch of just really great ones. It has Cream, it has Shook Ones Part Two, and it's all about the Benjamins. A great. It was only 30 cents, so how can I say no to that? I've been listening to it, and it's it's just so good. So good. Next up, we have some eBay stuff. So I actually got a, a lot of manuals for only $6, which is pretty damn awesome. So uh, they're basically all N64 games. So we got Vigilant 8. Never heard of it. Uh, it looks like some type of racing game. Or, like, a destruction type of game. I don't know. We got Wipeout 64, which is pretty cool. We got Command and Conquer. We have, which I have one of these already. It's just, like, a little N64 pamphlet that came with the system. We have Pokemon Snap. Mario Tennis. So, now I have... Uh, these two, I have the games for, so if I get the box, I'll have them complete in box, which is awesome. Then this one was just kind of just in there with 64 stuff, so, and that is a manual for the Top Loader NES. It's pretty damn awesome. Pretty sure this manual sells for a little more than, how many is there, a dollar? So I basically paid a dollar for all of these. Pretty sure it goes for a little more than a dollar. Speaking of N64, uh, I actually got this N64 lot on eBay. Honestly, wasn't thinking I was going to win it, but I did. Very excited. Uh, I actually plan on making a separate video. Uh, cleaning this up a bit, so 
It came with three games, a controller, and the system. I'll save the system for last. The games, nothing super special. We got NFL Quarterback Club 98, which is, you know, it's not that. We have Star Wars A Shadow of the Empire, which is actually a really fun game. Pretty hard, too, but it's fun. Then we have South Park, which I played a couple times at like some of my friends' houses. It's, it's alright. Uh, the controller is just a regular gray N64 controller. Joystick is pretty loose. It's very, very dirty, so that's going to be fun to clean. Uh, I actually really enjoy cleaning stuff. So Then it came with uh, the power brick and the AV cables. Now, as far as the console goes, it's one that I've actually been wanting for quite some time, and that is an ice blue one. So it's actually super dirty. It's missing the expansion cover, and the reset button is stuck. But that's all super easy stuff to fix. Like, all you have to do is take it apart, which I already have, and it's super filthy. So, uh, the guy said it worked. Who knows? But uh, it has like permanent marker, or just marker all on the top. Overall, though, it's in good shape. There's no chips. It's, uh, yeah, it's just in really good shape. So, just gotta fix that, gotta get a cover and just clean it, and this baby's good to go. Now, for this whole lot, I only paid 25 bucks for, which is awesome. So especially the reset button, like I said, is super easy fix. Uh, the games uh, are decent. The controller is eh, but this console, if it was in like perfect working condition, would have been like 100 bucks. So 25 for the console, the games and controller. You you honestly you can't beat that. These last three blocks are actually stuff I picked up from my friend. So the first one, we have a Game Boy Advance. And it is this Fuchsia Game Boy Advance, which is awesome. These are, I won't say like somewhat harder to find, but the translucent ones are kind of more sought after. But uh, the story is, she hit me up. She's like, hey, I have this Game Boy Advance. I'm looking to sell it. I, I don't know what it's worth. What do you think I could get for it? And if someone asks me how much something is worth, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's only worth $2. Let me just have it. No, I'm going to be honest. So I was like, it's worth probably about 25 bucks. Is probably what you'll get for it on eBay uh, between 20 and 25 And she's like, okay. I was like, honestly, I'm actually looking for one. So I'll, I'll buy it. So I paid 25 bucks for it. It's in really good shape. I have battery cover. Uh, the label, it, it looks like it was like never used. So that's awesome. There was no games, but it did come with this case. So 25 bucks, helps out a friend, helps me out. All right, next up I have a Game Boy Advance SP lot. Uh, it's not the best lot ever, but this was part of a bigger lot with one of my friends, which I'll get to in a bit. So we have a Game Boy Advance SP. This is just Cobalt, Cobalt Blue. Uh, AGS 001, so it's not the back lit one, which I actually have the same exact one from when I was a child. So, uh, have a second one, that's pretty cool. The games, like I said, there's some good ones, but overall, they're just kind of eh. Like, uh, we have Barbie Ocean Discovery. I bought off a girl, by the way, so there's a lot of girly games. We got a Barbie game, two Barbie games, actually. Uh, we have Barbie Groovy Games. That should be super fun. Uh, we have Bookworm, which is actually a pretty fun game. It's like a word puzzle game. I was actually playing that. It's actually really fun. Uh, we have Connect 4 Perfection slash Trouble. So it's, uh, eh, not, not the best, but I'm not going to complain. We have Frogger Adventure Temple of the Frog. Uh, I've never played it, so don't know much about it. We have Little Mermaid Magic in Two Kingdoms. So that's, again, it was owned by a chick. Uh, we have Finding Nemo, which that could be fun. Uh, Disney games are normally pretty decent. Uh, we have these, which I've never actually owned and I've always been kind of curious about, is these Game Boy Advance video. So we have two of them. We have the Fairly Odd Parents. So basically what these are, with a little focus, there we go. Uh, basically what these are are just episodes of shows that you can watch on your Game Boy Advance, so pretty cool. Then we have All Grown Up. So these are, like I said, they're actually pretty interesting. I kind of want to get more. 
because uh, they're cheap, pretty cool. They're not like games or anything, so. But the best game in the lot is definitely Super Mario Advance. So this is Super Mario Bros. 2 and just Mario Bros. Why not? So I paid 20 bucks for all of that. Uh, that was her price, not mine. Okay, so how I came about this Game Boy Advance SP lot is my friend posted on Facebook. She was like, hey, does anybody want to buy a GameCube and some games for 30 bucks? I was like, sure, why not? Uh, so I was the first one to like message her and she sent me pictures. I was like, listen, I'll give you an extra $10 if you hold it for me until the next time I come down. And she did. Pretty, pretty damn, damn good lot. So we have uh, the GameCube. So it's just a platinum. It was actually super, super dirty. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned it up. It has a GameStop memory card. So that's cool. It came with two controllers. It has this kind of janky, crappy third party Intech controller. It feels super cheap. I, it probably doesn't work. Uh, but it did come with a first party platinum GameCube controller as well. So that's cool. It came with the hookups as well. Uh, I tested it, it all works. But the games are where it's at. So, the first game, well, the first like two or three games aren't really that good. We have Madden 2003, we have All Star Baseball 2003, we have The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, which that could possibly be a good game. Who knows? But these last three are legit. So we have Open Season. Actually, it's Mario Party 4, disc only. Uh, it's pretty scratched up, but it does work. Actually worked really, really well. So, uh, not sure if you'll be able to see that. So that was cool. And then we have Mario Party 7. So this is not complete, but the disc is in really, really good shape. So probably won't be able to tell but it, there's like nothing on it uh no manual but that's fine it's Mario Party 7 then this last game I was like you need to hold this for me and that is Super Smash Bros Melee so pretty damn awesome uh it's 100% complete the disc is in like perfect shape it's like it was never played uh, I'm super stoked about this, super excited. Now I basically have all of them, besides like the Wii U version, but I have it for 3DS. Um, yeah, so this whole GameCube bundle was essentially $40, but that's not bad. So these three games right here retail, probably cost you about 100 bucks. Uh, and she only wanted 30 for the whole GameCube lot. I'm not gonna say no. But that's going to do it for the pickups. Let me know in the comments down below what did you pick up this week. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is going to be linked down below. That being said, you guys rock. Stay rad. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.